Today is the second liftoff and trans-epidermal infusion on day 10 after the RP. Most of the peeling is gone and the skin is looking amazing. The approach is slightly different today. After the cleanse, I'll do a light microdermabrasion just to release some of the remnants of the peeling skin. I'm also adding microcurrent into the mix to tone the skin and she has a little area under her chin that she inherited from her gene pool that she'd like minimized. No, she'd like it gone. So we'll see what magic I can do. After the microcurrent, I'll apply body sculpting cream to that area, occlude, and wrap. I'll leave this on while she's under the light stem anti-aging LED for 20 minutes. Then it's the lift off with the MK Enzyme Therapy One Mask blended with Desquamate for a light exfoliation. And I'll be adding enzymes two and three for muscle banding and a bit of a lift. After the second lift off and infusion, you see that the skin looks even brighter and fresher. The pigment's lifted away, leaving her with some freckles, which are kind of the pores are more refined. There's no more fine lines. She's commented that the area around her mouth looks less droopy. No more wrinkles. Her skin just looks really youthful and bouncy. I've taken away the Contraderm and the Solar Damage Gel from her home care routine and added Melanotech Drops with Kojic Acid, Lavange Extract, which is a tyrosinase inhibitor, and Niacin, uh, to her morning routine to brighten the skin and inhibit it, the melanin production. And Melanotech cream with kojic acid and niacinamide to her evening routine to prevent hyperpigmentation, even out her skin tone and brighten the skin. Jennifer will begin doing maintenance masks at home. So here she is. See you next week.